What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Today in the world of indie games, we're diving back in into it. This is an old friend right here. We haven't played this game in probably two years, but it's finally out of early access. The 1.0 edition is released of Basement. So if you ever wanted to put on a hazmat suit and cook meth, well, welcome to the game, brother. Welcome on in. Let's go ahead and play. Uh, we're going to start out in Old Uncle's Garage. And we're going to see where this whole illicit drug trade thing works out for us. Well, there's cutscenes now. That's pretty cool. I like cutscenes. You just leave the bong on the couch, huh? I set that thing down on the floor just in case. Like, you never... Like, it could roll off the cushions right there. That night, Gunther got an idea. He'll make a legendary computer game and get rich. All he needed was money for developing it, and he needed an investor. Apparently, all of the robots are saying it's a bad game. He's got a gold tooth, though, so that's pretty cool. I wish I had a gold tooth. But Gunther's game was kind of different from what investors like to invest in. Gunther woke up on the wet pavement outside the entrance to the investment center. They just like the investment center is like this giant monolithic just conglomerate of TVs. Poor Gunther. He's been thrown out. Now his shirt's all dirty. I hate that. Gunther was very upset and called his only friend, his dealer, Kenny. He decided to buy some grass. That's how you deal with it. There you go. That a boy. You don't get mad. You just get grass. Perfect. Mary Jane whispered in his ear, Go into business with Kenny and earn enough money to make that game. Kenny agreed if Gunther could find a place for their lab. I don't think you really need a lab for growing weed. You just gotta need a pot. Like a backyard. Then again, the development of this game started before it was mostly legalized, so that would make sense. You still gotta keep it underground. Dude, you're a little too high right there. Like, you gotta slow down. <laughs> Gunther's messed up. Gunther's having a time right now. Damn, I guess we could set up in my old uncle's garage. Well, here we are, in old uncle's garage. Well, hello. This is a unique ass-ripping strategy. Okay. I, <laughs> I just, I don't even know where to begin here. Your people are going to old uncle's garage. Squad size, one. Click here to understand more. Okay. A whisper tip. Hi, I'm Mary Jane, and there are many buttons and numbers and other things in this game. Now I will talk about them. Alright. That's cool, that's cool. I'm sure it'll, like, show me what to do. So there you go. My people are officially living inside old uncle's garage. Here it is, my uncle's garage. Cool, I should probably give Kenny a call. Hey, Kenny, come on over. I got something to show you. Alright, I'll be on my way. So we've got another person coming to my garage now. Hopefully to live underneath my house. And I, I like how he showed up with like nine guys in a panel van instead of by himself like he said. It's always the worst when you think of friends coming over and they bring like nine other people with them. And you're like, oh, I don't know any of these people. No. Come on, what do you think? Not bad. It's a nice place. You're in? Hell yeah. All right. The first rule of business is there are no rules. And most importantly, don't die. You writing that down in a notebook? Hey, man, we're a little bit of a nerd. We can't help it. We got to take notes on this thing. The most important thing is that Gunther must not die. Okay. All right, we're going to do this. And once we've got some goods, we're going to need a sales room. We'll set things up in the sales room so we'll be able to sell our stuff. And remember, the sales room has to be located above ground. Okay. Put in a sales room. All right. So apparently, I got to learn how to build over here. So we can build a room right here. Yes, let's build a room. Uh, we need a sales room. So it's going to be 125 bucks. We're just going to create a drug drive through on our house. Not bad. That'll do. Now all we need is some goods and we're back in business. Let me show you how to make some stuff. We'll use a grow box to make some of it, but it won't work without electricity. So we're going to need to put in a generator. All right. So we've got a generator over here. There's 10 power. Cool. Power's on. Now we can put in a grow box. All right. We'll put in the grow box then. There's our weed box right there. Happy little plants dancing in the light. So we're going to need a storage room. This place is a mess. You're going to need to clear it out. Throw out all this junk. Why throw it out? I bet we can make some money selling it. It's not a bad idea. I'm not going to say no to a little extra scratch. That's business. All right. So we've got rubbish. I will absolutely sell that. 
There's not too much stuff going on in the garage right now. We've already sold that. It says there's another junk room. I don't see it. Is that a junk room? Yeah, there we go. Let's sell the junk room. Perfect. Not bad. We finally got some room in here. That grow box is going to push out a lot of goods, and we're going to need somewhere to put them, right? That's why we need a storage room. The closer the storage room is to the grow box, the less we'll have to run back and forth, and the faster we'll be able to produce goods. All right. I guess we could put a storage room right there. Fun factoid about my life. When I was a kid, our neighbors actually had a drug drive through That's right. Our neighbors, they built it so that both of their fences on either side of the house would, like, flip outwards wide enough for a car to come through. Like, they kind of, like, fold it up, and then, like, cars would pull in, go into the backyard, which was all concrete. They had no grass. It was basically just a driveway that went all the way through their backyard. You pulled in, went around the back, you did your business, and then you pulled out back around front. They didn't get caught for a long time, too, but they did get raided. They did get raided by the DEA. Like, I got home from school one day at, like, 2.30 in the afternoon. I was walking home, and there was, like, 50 cops in my front yards with, like, those blue... You know those blue jackets that they wear on all the cop shows? Like, those blue windbreakers that go over the top that say, like, police on the top of them or whatever? There was a bunch of those dudes in my front yard hiding behind my fence. And when they saw me walking up, they were like, go inside, get in a bathtub. And I was like, okay. So I went inside. I did not get in the bathtub. I watched out the window. But they were, like, raiding the neighbor's house with, like, that big battering ram thing. And they all had, like, guns and stuff. It's kind of crazy. Sweet. Now we can make some stuff. Go over to the grow box and make a little green. But this right here, the concept of a drug drive through is not actually that unlikely. I guess you can go down there and work in the grow boxes. I guess. Yeah, there you go. Get to work, man. Everybody knows that when you massage marijuana, it grows faster. That's a little secret that a lot of people don't know about the growing industry. Is that, like, if you massage the weed, it becomes happier. I can't build anything inside of there right now, but we've already produced one brick of weed. One entire brick of the weeds. Is. There's a hundred bucks right there. He walks off. He smoked it right there on the spot. Like, I mean, I, I suppose that's fine. Like, that's in the spirit. We're letting these people in our house... See, you're breaking, like, one of the fundamental rules right now. You're storing product at the place that you sleep at. That's, like, a fundamental rule here. Let's, like, don't you listen to Biggie? Come on, man. You don't need these people hanging around where you sleep at. This is where your dog, like, takes dumps, dude. You don't want, you don't want this happening. Apparently, he upgraded himself and got plus one HP by getting high. Who knew? All this time, I thought I had just been wasting my time recreationally, and instead, I've just really, really been boosting my constitution. Nice. You almost done with that weed down there, brother? You almost done with that weed down there, brother? I'm gonna need you to get done with that weed down there, brother. I think we've only produced four out of five. So Gunther and Kenny are like, we have to have them. They can't die. They are plot relevant. There you go. We've produced enough. Hard day's work. We made $500. That's enough for a video game, right? We don't need more than that. Making stuff is hard work. You're going to get tired and you're going to slow down. To stay productive, you're going to need a break room. Just throw a couch somewhere. All right, I can do that. Yup, Gunther, it looks like we're sold out. One of us needs to keep producing new product while the other one sells it. We need to work smart and keep things moving. All right, well, I'm going to build a room over here so that we can, like, sit on a couch if we want to. Cool. Now we've got everything we need for doing business. I see you already figured out how to make sales. Ching, ching, ching. Keep it up. Sure, it's not too hard. Easy money. All right, we're ready to start earning for real. How much do you need to start your project? The more, the better. All right, well, then let's fill our pockets till they bust. All right, so you go get, like, a nap time in. There you go. I Is he picking his nose right now in the break room? Oh, he's smoking. Okay, the cigarette was kind of the same color as his fingers, so I thought he was just, like, rapid-fire assault rifle picking his nose the entire time. Yeah, you stock up some product, Brody. We got to get everybody all nice and relaxed over here. So we've got to sell, like, not that much more, actually. We only need to sell, like, three more bundles of the weedses over here. We just got to flip a couple more. Just got to flip a couple more O's, and then all will be right with the world. To be fair, though, these plants are really productive. Like, these things are spitting out hot bud at a rapid rate. A very rapid rate. Business is going pretty good, huh? Eh? It's not even a word for it. Yeah, you can't just keep shoveling more bills into your pockets. Tell you what you need, a proper storage room to keep all your cash in. All right, but where are we going to put it? There's no room. 
Yeah, you're right. The basement is pretty small. You'll need to expand it. Let's dig a few more. All right. Dig a room. Dig a room. Dig one more room over here so we can keep our money far and near. Just like that, the basement's looking pretty sweet. Now we need to build a money storage. It'll be a good place to stash another 3,000. Or, or, work with me here. You get your girlfriend to open a bank account in her name. All right. And then you give her the money to store there. Or, or, alternatively, another idea is that you use that money to buy solid assets made out of, like, gold. And you just keep those around just in case and you put them in a safety storage box so that if you ever get raided or whatever you can then go and pawn all the jewelry to get at least a chunk of your money back I'm just saying I'm just trying to teach you the life of the hustle right now I'm trying to teach you the hustle okay I'm trying to I'm trying to teach you how to grind to shine all right because that's what Splatty's all about grind and shine uh, I'll probably put my money over here that seems like a good place to put my money all right that's exactly what we needed now we got a place to store the money. I bet it'll come rolling in. So that's why I've been such a bum all my life. All I needed was a warehouse full of money. Cool. I'm glad everything's finally worked out. I mean, also remember, pay your taxes. All right, that's another big part. If they can get Al Capone, they can get you. All right? So like I'm just saying, there are alternative ways for us to take care of this business. It's all done in cash. This stuff never has to hit a bank. We can just put it in a safety deposit box. However, you can get a warrant for a safety deposit box. So, you know, you just gotta you gotta work on your options here. You gotta keep it nice and fluid. You know, have your mom open a joint bank account or something like that. You know, have one of your cousins do it. Pay them like a couple hundred bucks a month just to have the account open and store your money for you. Like, there's ways to do this. Dude, it is taking you forever to close this sale. I need you to chill and get this sale done. Like, this sale needs to happen more rapidly. So we got to earn a little bit. There's one dollar sitting on a shelf right there being all alone. All alone on the shelf by myself. Just a dollar bill. Kicking ass, Gunther, but you want to kick this bitch into high gear. We could run two stores off the same grow box. Right now we're producing faster than we can sell. We'll be killing it if we get another store. All right, but who's going to work in it? There's only two of us. It's a good point. We're going to need another dealer. Workers always need a place to throw their shit. We'll need to have a locker room. All right. A red rectangle has appeared in the top left. Click here. That's probably how many lockers we need for our workers, right? All right. Well, there you go. We've got a locker room. So now we've got enough room for staff. Nice. It looks like this locker room is going to be big enough for two employees. Well, we already have two. But if we upgrade this locker room, I bet we can hire a third employee. All right. We'll then upgrade it, bro. There you go. It's been upgraded just like that. Now we can hire another dealer. Okay. Hire another dealer then. It looks like I don't see another dealer in here. Apparently the hiring menu is right here. We can hire Sheldon. Sheldon appears to have run into a glass door a little bit too hard at some point in his life. That's okay. Like I'm fine with Sheldon. Oh look, his facial expression changed when we hired him. Yo, dealer. You hired. We're going to sell some beautiful product together. Sorry, my brain is just, like, deleting right now. Look, Gunther, different workers have different characteristics. Judging by this guy's resume, he has a high endurance rating, which means he's good at dealing. But on the other hand, his health is weak. He's not going to be a good fighter if it comes to that. There's one important thing. You won't believe it, but the workers are going to want wages. We need to pay them at the beginning of each day. And what if we don't pay them on time? Then they'll probably quit at exactly the worst possible moment. It's better that we don't even get into that. So let's make another sales guy. All right, so you come over here. And you rock the sales for me for a little bit. All right. You rock the sales. We don't have any more space up top for another sales room. Yeah, you're right. We could put the couch in the basement. All right. Sell that. Just like that. Now we get a second sales room. All right. We'll build this over here. No, I don't want the sales room right there. I want the sales room right there. There you go. Perfect. And then over here, we need the couch in the basement. Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to do. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. Now we have two sales rooms. All right. Put our new dealer in the other one. All right. Well, he's in the second sales room, so so that stuff off. I mean, I don't feel like we're producing that rapidly, in all honesty. I don't know who the better producer is here. I should probably go through people's stats now that I think about it. 
So we've got productive. Yeah, he's the fastest producer right there. So this guy sells, and it looks like this guy sells, but him, he produces. All right. Yep, put good old Walter inside the production room. All right, so you go up there. You get over here for a break real fast. We've sold off, like, a couple of these, so I think we should be in good shape. All right, so you're all taken care of. You have relaxed. You have r and would I actually kind of think that, like, I don't know if we can only build the grow boxes down underneath the ground. Wow, he produces so much faster than everybody else. Look, go through there's a drugstore nearby, and I heard there's only two guards there. Well, what do you mean? The fuck you think I mean? Let's rob the place! I'm sure we'll be able to find something we can sell. Oh, I see where you're going with this, but I'm not much of a fighter, so... Yeah, I don't feel like fighting either, but you remember the most important thing? To hire the right person for the job. What do you say? I don't know, that sounds scary. Keep your panties dry, man. I've done this a thousand times. We have one employee, but he's not good at fighting, so let's fire him. Then we'd have a spot cleared up in the locker room. All right. Uh, where'd you go, Pinky? There he is. Fire that dude. He is now fired. He no longer exists inside of our world. Nice. I'm starting to feel like a real boss. Yeah, cool. But now we need to hire a decent fighter. Okay. So if we wanted to hire a fighter, yeah, he does look kind of grumpy and angry. So it looks like he's got lots of damage. So we'll hire him on up. Now we got a fighter, and he's going to walk around with a wallet chain because nothing says I will fight you like a wallet chain. That's it. This fighter's going to do nicely. What do you want me to do, boss? You need to beat up the two guards at the drugstore. You think you can handle that? Piece of cake. Point me in the right direction. All right, dudley. Dean, I'm going to need you to be over here. Oh, we just tell him to go fight over there. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, send Kenny and send Dean. And then we'll send off the attack. There we go. Gang warfare. Only here at the Nerd Castle do we engage and debase things like gang warfare. Did you guys really have to get in a car to go over there? It's like eight feet. You can throw a rock from our back door and hit their front door. Like, dang, those guys got worked. Those dudes had a terrible day. We seized the drugstore. The fighter did great. Let's fire him. We'll just stand around collecting salary. Better hire a dealer instead, or else we got an unmanned sales room. All right, man. You're fired. And then you come over here and sell some weed. There you go. On this side, we've got a couple packs of weed on this side. We'll hire that dealer back, I guess. All right, we're ready to sell at full speed, and we also seize the drugstore. Now we're going to need to move all that green from the drugstore to our basement as quickly as possible. Then the owners won't be able to say shit. To move the goods, we'll need a transport, and transports can be hired in the garage. All right, well, first things first, I just want my dealers to make money. So let's maybe do that first and foremost. All right, so now what are we doing? How do we hire a transport? I don't know. How do we hire a transport? I would love to find out. Oh, you just click on the garage. Okay. So we can buy, apparently, a moped. The least threatening vehicle in the history of vehicles, unless you're in Brazil. If you're in, like, Rio, then mopeds are terrifying. But everywhere else, not terrifying. Very, very geographically isolated vehicle for instilling terror. Just like that, now our delivery guy is going to distribute goods to our buildings with sales rooms. Right now, we have two buildings, and both of them have sales rooms. So in this situation, we need to sell the sales room at the drugstore. Then the delivery guy will move all the product back to our garage. All right. I mean, if we have to. There you go. It's sold. The delivery guy will take the goods back to our garage. All right. Well, maybe, like, you... I don't know if he wants to come back over here. Can I relocate you? Oh, you pick the location you want them to relocate to. Okay. All right. Yep. Move that guy back over to here. And then we'll just let this transport dude bring back, like, buckets full of weed on the back of his motorcycle. Because, obviously, no police force is ever going to notice that this moped goes back and forth between a place a block away 400 times a day. Honestly, if it was this close, you should just dig a tunnel. Just saying, you're probably going to hit a PG&E line or something, but the tunnel would mean that you can move stuff back and forth with no problem. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that sweet, sweet stash. 
Uh, which ones can I upgrade? Damn, look how slow that guy moves. I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, you can always speed. Well, you can't speed up just the moped, but you can speed the whole world up. I'm always on speed. It's good for your reflexes. But on the other hand, you need to be careful when you speed. Otherwise, you might miss something important and accidentally die. Okay, well, I'm not trying to accidentally die right now, so I guess we'll just take our time. Does he only bring back one bundle at a time? I think he only brings back one bundle at a time. I think he absolutely does. What's this building on the left? Can we rob that? I'm going to go rob the dog food store. I mean, we're robbing everybody else in the neighborhood. I just don't want him to feel left out. You know, like you rob everybody on the street but him. He's going to start asking questions like, well, why didn't you rob me, though? Cool. We got all the goods from the drugstore. You see, Gunther, you don't even need to produce goods. I told you to keep your panties dry. Everything's under control. But now we need to sell all this green. You'll have plenty of money to start your project. You sure about that? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. We need to do something about this line, too. Something that tells me the Chamber of Commerce and the Health Department are going to notice this. All it takes is one nosy-ass neighbor to be like, mm, There's a line outside my neighbor's house. Like, we just need to get better at this. Aw, Kenny, look. Somebody's going to the drugstore. What if it's the owner? Relax and don't lose your cool. We already stole all the goods. Now we just sit back and watch. I don't see anybody. So there's a green squad going over there? Oh, yeah, there they are right there. They're loaded up in the Hummer. Dang, that dude is balled out. He's got that hat on. He's got the aviators and everything. Where's my green? There's nothing here. I've been robbed. Damn, Kenny, who's that? Uh, he's the leader of the local green lizard gang. His name's Miguel. Gangs, damn, Kenny. Did we just rob the mafia? Don't sweat it. I told you. I've done this a thousand times. Now let's go buy some potato chips. I get the feeling that messing with organized crime is not going to work out great for us. Like, I was thinking more of like a, you know, we do what we do when we do it type of deal. Not like setting up franchises. Unknown persons robbed the local pharmacy. The local people, especially the elderly, suffered from a shortage of medication. Damn, man. These are some good chips. Apparently, we've completed the level. Onwards and upwards we go. Damn, Kenny, this is great. We blew all our money on chips. All we got left is 200 bucks. Don't worry, we'll get some more. You guys ate like $3,000 worth of Lay's? Good God. So we got to make some money. Put you in the basement since you're good at it. Put you up here. And you... Actually, no, Pinky, 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 Pinky. Does he stay with us forever now? Because I was going to fire him. I'll be honest with you, I was going to fire this dude. Apparently, I can't fire him, so I guess we're just stuck with him forever. The joys of organized labor here. At least our house is rearranged better, so we don't have to take the weed as far when we want to like move it to the stockpile or whatever. So that's good. We got like 300 bucks clocking on in right now. We are starting to sell some product, which I think is probably nice. We can't upgrade that room. We can't upgrade that room. Can we upgrade this place? Oh, he produces at 1.4 now. Man, 1.4 production? What a god. We could upgrade that. Oh, it's already been upgraded. Okay. Well, then dig out a new hole in our house. I don't think we need to buy a transport just yet. It does, however, look like there are a lot of people around here that may potentially have a problem with us. These guys look especially tough over here. They got like a bald bull thing going on that kind of worries me. Dude, are we like fighting up here? I think we might be fighting. What's happening, boys? And what you slinging? You selling a little green? Well, yeah, what do you want? Well, the fact is you're on my territory. You're gonna need to pay me a kickback if you want to keep your crackers. Any questions? Uh. Don't worry, nobody's going to get crumbled. Just pay me $420 every two days, and you better be sure you got it when I come by. And your first payment starts now. Show me that money. But, what did you say? You want me to snip off your little cheese balls? No, shit. Here, fine. It's your 420 It's more like it. You better be sure you got the next payment when I come back. Keep cracking. See, this is why. This is why we don't open up franchises. Jesus, dude. No kidding. We need to do something, and we need to do it quick. Got any ideas, Supercellar? I got it. We need a second base, one that Tupo doesn't know about. 
There's an old computer club nearby. We can make another base and move in there. That'll be the plan. We'll keep on paying that jerk for now so he doesn't finish us off. And meanwhile, we'll set up another base at the old computer club. We'll equip the new base, and when everything's ready, we'll tear this place down, and that asshole will never find us. Think it'll be that easy? My cheese balls are telling me that this is a bad idea. Nah, it'll be fine. I've done this a thousand times. By the way, it goes without saying that we shouldn't try to move into buildings controlled by gangs. They'll wipe the floor with us. We should just try to avoid them. Okay. Well, I mean, what's stopping me from, like, rolling these dudes right here? Dang, he does seven damage? Those dudes are hardcore. Those dudes aren't playing. My name is Splattercat. This is the 1.0 release of Basement. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. They've definitely added some new stuff in. That is for certain. I will see you all later. If you want to get this game for yourself, you can look down below in the description. I'll have a link for you if you don't know who I am and what I do. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. I love what I do, and I do what I love. I'll see you all tomorrow with a little bit more of it.